Chapter 10 As the Hogwarts Express drags along the countryside, all the kids' hearts race in time with the engine. The scene is so beautiful, the landscape is literally peppered with painters, working out masterpiece after masterpiece. Ron Weasel makes his grand entrance and shares the compartment with Harry. The proud lad remembers Harry from the platform and takes a seat. In the introductions, Ron is stricken with a face almost sacred when Harry introduces himself as the HP. The scar is called into question. It is shown, and it is wicked. The food service wench appears. Ron, obviously from a family whose money is spread thinly over the sheer volume of loin product, cannot buy a thing. But the new, newly minted Monopoly champ, HP, flashes some coin, and the new friends celebrate over a pile of cakes and frogs and nipples of witch Venus and rats and choco spells and fruit nuts. You know, wizardly fodder. The same kind of junky food you or I would wallow our mouths upon if we were in Harry and Ron's place. Ron loves Twizzlers. They talk over the syllabus and what's to be demanded of them at Hogwarts. Ronnie tells Harry that he's a pot of coffee by day, bottle of wine by night type of guy. Harry says, triple that and you got me. They laugh, a congenial laugh, and both of them realize that they were instant friends. Friends forever. Just as Ron is about to produce Yellow Pillows, a spell he has learned at home, Pillows of Gold, he and Harry are interrupted by a horrible creature that is making its way down the hall and appears in the doorway. Only upon closer examination do Ron and HP realize it's a girl looking for a frog. Her hair seems to be made up of hair follicle-sized serpents, a prepubescent medusa. Ugh. She demands that Ron continues his spell, but by mere proximity to such a wretched creature, Ron cannot concentrate and almost kills his rat instead of producing pillows of gold. She tries to degrade Ron, but only looks stupid. Knowing that these boys obviously hate her filthy guts, she sits down and repairs Harry's glasses with a pretty cool spell. The boys have to admit this creature poising, posing as a humanoid has some chops. Definitely some chops indeed. Only after the spell does she recognize our HP for who he is. She intros herself as Harmony and begs Ronnie of his name. He only growls and smacks in her general direction. This prompts her to leave, and as a last-ditch effort to please, she informs Ronnie of his chocolatey-covered nose, as if he didn't know.